Hey guys, welcome to another video. If uh, you didn't follow over from the previous video, I'm showing off my Famicom games and Super Famicom game collection. I thought I was going to be able to do both in one video, but unfortunately I ran out of time, even with our brand new 15 minute time limit here. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and run through the Super Famicom games that I have, but just a quick disclaimer. Some of these games only have the Japanese writing on them, and I may not be familiar with what it actually is, uh, or what its American counterpart is. Uh, and if I may know the Japanese name for it, I will probably most likely mispronounce the name and butcher it. So if I butcher the name to your favorite Japanese game, I apologize in advance. But uh, let's go ahead and get this going. And we're going to start here with Fi Fighter's History by Data East, which is an interesting game because uh, Capcom actually sued Data East for this, saying that they basically ripped off uh, Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2 for that fact. And... Uh, Data East actually won the court battle. The judge said that you can't really decipher uh, what the differences were between the game, and there were some similarities, but it could be just simple coincidences. So Data East actually went on to produce a couple of these games, I believe, or maybe I'm confusing it with a different fighting series, but uh, the game isn't really anything special. And I found that one at a pawn shop for really cheap. Next up, we've got another Capcom game here, and this is Final Fight 2. I like this one. This was the one, uh, the first final fight on the Super NES that you could actually do two players, which was a lot of fun. The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Love that cover artwork with the Master Sword there. That's just really cool. And another Capcom game, Street Fighter 2. Kind of enjoy the artwork for this a little bit better than the uh, American counterpart that I had. I always thought the artwork in the American version was kind of cheap. Or cheesy, rather. Uh, this one, I don't know what the Japanese name of it is, but by looking at the characters, I know this is an SNK game, and this is Art of Fighting. This was an alright port, but uh, nowhere close to what uh, the actual Neo Geo version had. Next up we got Contra 3, The Alien Wars. Man, this game kicked so much ass when it came out on the Super Nintendo. This was tons of fun. Me and my little brother really loved this. Don't know what the Japanese name is, but I do know that this is Fist of the North Star, and apparently it is Fist of the North Star 6. It's a pretty bad fighting game. It plays like real crap. Puzzle Bobble, which I believe is known as uh, Bust a Move here, that may be incorrect, but you shoot these bubbles and pop them. Yeah, decent puzzle game. Pilot Wings, this was a fun Mode 7 game. I, I played this a lot when the Super Nintendo came out. Lots of good stuff there. Let me grab some more games here. Super Street Fighter 2. Great game. Uh, uh, a little bit of better cover art than the uh, American version. The American version had the bricks, but uh, not too many differences in this other than your standard boss names are different, just like any Japanese compared to American release. Don't know the uh, Japanese name of this, but I believe the English translation is something like Great Battle 4 or Mega Battle 4. It's supposed to be a fun uh, side-scroller. I haven't had a chance to really sit down and play this one. This is Ranma One Half. I believe this is maybe the second game in the series. It's an alright fighting game. It's nothing uh, incredible, but uh, eh, it's alright. This one, I do not know the American name offhand, and I definitely do not know the Japanese name of it offhand, but I do know it's one of those military uh, tactics games. I got that in a bundle, probably. Ah, this one is very cool. This is Castlevania Dracula X, or Double X, I guess it's known as in Japan, because it's a kind of a uh, alternate port of uh, Dracula X from the TurboGrafx-16. I actually have this one complete in box with instructions and everything really cool to have. Uh, this is kind of a, a rare game, especially if you have the American version of it. I guess the Japanese version is somewhat rare, though it's more pricier than rare, I think. Fun game, really love the music. It's not as good as the Turbo Graphic version, but whatever. Dragon Ball Z. Not that good, in my opinion. D 
Disney is Aladdin, and I want to say that I thought this was a bootleg. I don't know if this didn't come out over there, or maybe I'm thinking of the NES version, but I thought this was a bootleg. Sega Genesis version of Aladdin was better. Uh, this is known as uh, kind of Secret of Mana 2 over here in America, though it never came out. And uh, I can picture the Japanese name of this in my head, and I can already tell that I'm obviously going to butcher it, so I'm not even going to attempt to try to say it. But uh, this is basically the sequel to Secret of Mana. It had the same kind of gameplay and everything. Really good game. Played this years ago on a ROM that was translated. Lots of fun. Super Donkey Kong Country 3. Uh, by After 2, I really wasn't interested in Donkey Kong games. I love the first one. But I wasn't a big fan of 2 or 3. And I think actually in Japan it's just known as Super Donkey Kong, not Donkey Kong Country. But this is the third one. This is uh, Battle Master. And this one's actually an alright fighting game. Nothing special, but kind of fun. I have no idea what game this is, and uh, I can't even tell you how it plays. I don't even know if I actually popped this one in, so uh, this one's a surprise to me. Samurai Spirits. This is also known as Samurai Showdown here. This is another Neo Geo port. Uh, this one was actually ported pretty well to the uh, Super Nintendo Super Famicom. It was pretty decent. This one is Rushing Beat. Uh, this game had actually three series over here in America. Um, we had three games. All three were brought over as well. Um, one is, the first one was Rival Turf. The second one was Brawl Bros. And the third one was uh, the Peacekeepers. Decent beat-em-ups. Lots of fun. Me and my little brother used to play Peacekeepers all the time. It was four players, too, uh, deathmatch-wise. Another uh, Rambo one-half game. I think this one is actually the sequel. Uh, another fighting game. It's alright. This is World Heroes. A, a decent fighting game. Another one from Neo Geo, uh, SNK. Uh, and actually, looking at here, it was Sunsoft. So I think it was originally from SNK and Sunsoft reprogrammed it. But that's an alright fighting game. Uh, the, the characters to, to me were a little too gimmicky. I didn't like it that much. Live a Live is a, uh, another RPG by Squaresoft here, and uh, the game, I think, plays by different episodes, and they all kind of tie into each other. I've only briefly played this one, because I do have a uh, translated version of this for my Super Nintendo Power Pack, so. Smash TV, this was kind of fun. This is one of the better ports of uh, Smash TV. Well, fun in the arcade, big money, big prizes, I love it. And lastly, we have Final Fight which uh, sadly did not have uh, one of my favorite game characters in it, Poison. Uh, she was edited out, and uh, you wouldn't see her till obviously the Sega CD version. And even then, she was still edited. Only the original arcade version would you get the actual real Poison uh, up until now with uh, Final Fight Double Impact. But uh, that is my Super Famicom collection. It's a decent collection. Um, there's only one real Super Famicom game that I'm actually looking for to kind of complete my collection personally, and that is Clock Tower. Uh, big fan of the Clock Tower games, and Clock Tower, the first year, was released for the Super Nintendo Super Famicom over there. It never came out here in America. I have played it. I have completed it. Uh, as again, on my Super NES Power Pack, there is a translated version of it, but it's one I want to pick up and have because uh, I just love the Clock Tower series. So that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed taking a look at my Famicom and Super Famicom games. And I'll post another video shortly. Have a good one, guys.